pressure and criticism, the UN Special Envoy to Yemen has stepped down. Jamal Ben Omar, who officially held the post from 2012, had come under fire for failing to broker an end to the conflict between Shia Houthi rebels and Saudi-backed forces loyal to Yemen's President Hadi. The Houthis are widely believed to have the backing of Tehran, leading to the conflict being termed a proxy war between Iran and Saudi Arabia. Iran denies involvement and has called for an inter-Yemeni dialogue. In the dialogue. This is not a negotiation between Yemenis and foreign, foreigners, nor is it a negotiation between uh, foreign powers. Foreign powers should not set conditions for the future of Yemen, nor should they engage in negotiations. What they need to do is to facilitate di dialogue among various Yemeni groups, and that is what we are prepared to do. Houthi militants took control of the Yemeni capital Sana'a in September, placing the president under house arrest. He later escaped south to Aden, the second city, before taking refuge in Saudi Arabia with Yemen's vice president, Khaled Baha. Saudi-led airstrikes against the militants have hit Yemen hard. Houthi stronghold Sadar province, seen here, has been particularly heavily targeted. On Thursday, Baha said he hoped the coalition would not send in ground troops and appealed to the armed forces to support the legitimate Yemeni government in exile.